All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakhakwadash, Kahalayim La Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the elder apostles, great millstone, who were well. And salutation, much love to Yaki Mater, pushing out his word and truth and sincerity. And this is the brother Ash coming back with another um, lesson, Lord's Lord's Edifying. And um, this is going to go in on uh, a topic that I was meditating on and through the spirit. Um, I was jotting down some scriptures and uh, uh, Pastor Har did a video on a, sim on a similar topic. So um, I'm going to name this super elites can run but can't hide. All right, because the Lord is coming back. All right, he's coming for his enemies. All right, and chiefly Esau Edom. So let's go, let's start in Isaiah chapter 2. Verse 11, it says, The lofty looks of man shall be humbled, and the haughtiness of man shall be bowed down, and Yahweh alone shall be exalted in that day. All right, so who's the most proudest and haughtiest person on the planet? First and foremost, Esau, Edom, which of course we have two-thirds of our people, the wicked of our people that are uh, joint hand-in-hand -hand with him. But specifically Esau, okay? Verse 12, For the day of Yahweh of hosts shall be upon everyone that is proud and lofty. Don't they say proud to be this, proud to be that? Pride that, pr pride that parade, pride this parade. Proud, proud, pride this. And, you know, so America is the home of the proud. Uh, chiefly Edom. All right, it says, Upon everyone that is proud and lofty, and upon everyone that is lifted up, and he shall be brought low. And upon all the cedars of Lebanon, that are high and lifted up upon the oaks of, of, of uh, the oaks of Bashan and upon all the high mountains and upon all the hills that are lifted up. Yeah, all the governments, all right, big or small, everybody that comes up against you, how about Shema Shai is going to be brought low. It says, uh, where was I? Verse 15, and upon every high tower and upon every fence wall and upon all the ships of Tarshish and upon all pleasant pictures. And the loftiness of man shall be bowed down. The haughtiness of man shall be made low. And Yahweh alone shall be exalted in that day. Yeah, so hey, only Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai will be exalted in the day. And through, and through that, the elect will be. But all our enemies, all right, all those that are haughty and proud and, 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 and pompous and lift up themselves, they're going to all be brought low. It says, in the idols he shall utterly destroy. This is verse 19. It says, and they shall go into their hole. This is the point. And they shall go into the holes. Because these, these that are proud, all right, these that are that lift themselves up. Because the average Edomite, he's a fucking loser. He's a he's a nobody. Okay. Most Jakes are, you know, doing better than them loser Edomites out here, man. But the the high ones, the proud, the haughty ones, okay, those are living in luxurious palaces and castles. They don't pay no bills, okay? They're not struggling. They're not worried about, oh, you know, climate change. <laughs> They're not worried about filling up the gas tank or paying, uh, pay, uh, what's it called, paying the electrical bill. It says, and they, verse 19 again, and they shall go into the holes of the rocks and into the caves of the earth. For fear of the Lord, and the and for the glory of His Majesty, when He arises to shake terribly the earth. So when these, which they're already preparing, all right. Again, go to that video Apostle Hardis did. The super rich know what's coming. Roughly paraphrasing, they know what's coming, man. They're they're preparing, you know, shot whether it be Cheyenne Mountain, NORAD. Uh, they're they're dumb. The deep underground military bases, the underwater cities that they have. Um, even in the, the space stations, all right, all these uh, underground bases throughout the world, all right, it's not just in America, but really, they, they're not building them in America because they know it's going to be destroyed, it's, a, it's really around the world, they show you that in the movie 2012, when they build a boat, or whatever the hell it was, um, to escape, all the elites got on there to escape, so they're doing these uh, uh, things strategically in strategic places, because they know what's coming. And they want to hide. But what the Lord's going to shake the earth with what? 
the thermonuclear missiles, his chariots, the tsunamis, earthquakes. Okay, they want to escape the return of the Lord because he's coming with great vengeance. Isaiah 66, 15 through 16. Okay, he's coming to plead with all flesh with the sword and fire and the slain of the Lord shall be many. Okay, so let's go to, real quick to Revelation. We'll come back to this. So it said, let's read this again. It said, and they shall go into the holes of the rocks. Well, who's the nigga that lived in the rocks, in the clefts of the rocks? Esau eat them. So who's going to be number one building these things? You already know. This is into the caves of the earth for fear of Yahweh and for the glory of his majesty. And what's the glory of his majesty? Yahweh says, as scriptures say, the Lord is going to come back. Yahweh says, going to come back with great glory and with power. It says, when he arises, arises to shake terribly the earth. Okay. Let's go to... see here Revelation chapter 6 in verse um, 11 and says and the stars of heaven fell unto the earth even as a fig tree casteth her untimely figs which she is taken of a mighty wind and this is speaking on the nuclear missiles okay that's why they're going to hide themselves and of course because simultaneously the Lord is going to be here Fucking shit up. Okay. Bringing his wrath. So the Lord's going to be bringing his wrath. Right. And these thermonuclear missiles. Are going to be engaging. So to say. The earth. Alright. Bringing uh, mass destruction. That They are called the weapons of mass destruction for a reason. Verse 14. And the heaven departed as a scroll. When it is rolled together. Describing a mushroom cloud. And every mountain and island were moved out of their place. And the kings of the earth and the great men and the rich men and the chief captains and the mighty men and every bondman and every free man hid themselves in the dens and in the rocks of the mountains and said unto the mountains and rocks fall on us and hide us from the face of him that sitteth on the throne and from the wrath of the lamb, which is who? Yahweh Shai. So who are they hiding from? They're hiding from Yahweh Shai when he returns. Because there's going to be kings. There's going to be rich men, captains, mighty men. And there's going to be slaves too. Okay? Workers. Because what? They, what? You think they're at least going to be cooking in, in, in those bunkers? They're going to be cleaning in those? No, they got people set up, man. Alright? They're going to br bring in people. It says, and said unto the mountains... And rocks fall on us and hide us from the face of him that sitteth on the throne, which is Yahweh, and from the wrath, or so like Yahweh, and from the wrath of the Lamb, which is Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai. All right. For the great day of his wrath is come, and who shall be able to stand? So they know what's coming, man, because they're going to hide themselves. That's why they're preparing these things, the deep underground military bases, all right, and so on and so forth. These, they're preparing, they're, the preparations are in place. Because they understand what's coming. Let's go back to Isaiah 2. And um, I read 19 again. And they shall go into the holes of the rocks. Yeah, again, they're going to go into deep mountains, underground, whatever the case may be. And into the caves of the earth for fear of Yahweh. And for the glory of his majesty when he arises to shake terribly the earth. And that day a man shall cast his idols of silver and his idols of gold, which they made each one for himself to worship, to the moles and to the bats. Yeah, so they're going to forsake their gods in that day because it's clearly they're not going to do anything for them. It says to go into the clefts of the rocks and into the tops of the ragged rocks for fear of Yahweh and for the glory of his majesty when he arises to shake the earth. Shake terribly the earth. All right. So, hey, you can run, but you can't hide. Let's get uh, Amos 9. In verse 2, it says, It says, Though they dig into hell, which is the earth, thence shall mine hand take them. Though they climb up to heaven, thence will I bring them down. So, you, look, you can go into those military, deep underground military bases, okay? Cheyenne Mountain, NORAD. Uh, I'm sure there's there's many of them worldwide. That you don't even know about. We don't even know about them. You got you got random average day millionaire, which is low level, got bunkers underneath his house or wherever he got them at. All right. 
But guess what? The, the, the hand of the Lord is going to take them. And though they climb up to heaven with the space stations, they're talking about setting up shop on, on Mars and the moon. This is, this is, it don't matter where you go. You, the Lord's going to get you. It says, and though they hide themselves in the top of Carmel, I will search and take them out thence. And, and though they be hid from my sight in the bottom of the sea, thence will I command the serpent and he shall bite them. So e, you can have those underground cities or so like them underwater cities, set it up. Thinking you Aquaman, guess what? Leviathan is gonna come and, and wreck you. Okay. So there's no escape from the hands of Yahweh Hashem Shai. Because that's gonna be the first fruits of slavery. Okay? You going into slavery first, the ones that survived the destruction. Uh let's go to um Psalms real quick. Psalms 148. 149, yeah, it says, uh, I'll just get straight to 149 and 7, it says, to execute vengeance upon the heathen and punishments upon the people to bind their kings. Yeah, who's the ones that are going to be in those rocks? The ones hiding from the Lord. The kings, it, we read it in Revelation 6. Kings, um, the mighty men, even the uh, uh, the, the commoner or the, uh, the poor man, whatever it said. Because what, the kings ain't going to do the, the, their own work. These rock, you think a Rothschild is going to, you know, scoop up poop, you know, or do whatever the hell he got to do, go in the kitchen and, and cook? No, they're going to have people set up for that. But the point is, they're going into slavery. It says to execute vengeance upon the heathen and punishments upon the people to bind their kings with chains and their nobles with fetters of iron to execute upon them the judgment Written, this honor have all the saints, all his saints, praise ye Yahweh. So, they're going to be put into chains, no uh, uh, fetters of iron, all right? That's what's coming for those that are hiding. That's why they're hiding, and that's why they're going to escape the, the judgment of Yahweh by Shemel Shai as far as nuclear destruction, all right? They're going to be hiding, all right, but guess what? The Lord is going to send his anointed, first and foremost, Yahweh Shai, and his elect to come get you. All right, we'll end it off on here in Jeremiah 16 and, and 16. It says, Behold, I will send for many fishers, say uh, Yahweh, and they shall fish them. And that's what the prophets of the Lord are doing, his servants. Yahweh's servants are doing that right now. Remember, Yahweh Shai told uh, 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 Peter, or Simon Peter, Andrew, and James and John, Follow me, and I'll make you finishers, fishers of men. All right, it says, And they shall. So like, and after will I send for many hunters and they shall hunt them from every mountain and from every hill and out of the holes of the rocks. So you can go hide in the holes of the rocks, the, uh, the clefts of the rocks, whatever you want to do, Esau and you other nations, you other kings, because you know, the Lord is going to take down all the kings of this nation. And they're all going to be hiding again, uh, alluding back to that movie called 2012. It showed you how all the elites, so to say, all the billionaires and trillionaires. Had a, a passage on that boat. But guess what? That's just you escaping one judgment to meet slavery. Okay? Because you will be the first fruits of slavery. You will be burying dead bodies and, and having laborious work. Alright? So Lord's will, this was edifying. Till next time I say Shalom.